Yo, welcome to another Craftopia guide. Today, we're going to be talking about how automation stop when you get far away from them and what you can do to actually keep them going no matter where you are. But before we get started, if this guide does help you, please do drop a like and subscribe. Be sure to let me know of any Craftopia guides or content that you guys want to see down in the comments below and I will make that happen. But let's do this. Now it is incredibly frustrating when you are just say hanging around your base or looting around the map or whatever it may be and your automations are not going because you got too far away from it. Especially if you use something like an auto miner to then bring it up through conveyor belts or however you may transport it. The conveyor belts will stop if you get too far away. Meaning you basically have to lay out your base so that all your automations are close together. But there is actually a solution to this. And it's something I was completely unaware of just due to not looking around properly. So we are going to look into monoliths. Now monoliths are incredibly easy to make. There's two different types and they both serve the same purpose. They're just different size. So first of all, we're going to head to our workbench. So if we head into our workbench and we head down to the altar section, you will see that there is these two monoliths. Now one has three times three and the other one doesn't. That's just the size difference. But we're going to make both so you can truly see the size of each one and what it actually does. So let's start off with the smaller one, the one without the three times three. And as you can see, it only takes five iron ingots. So it's incredibly easy to make. So let's go ahead and craft one. Take that from our stand and we will bring it over to an automation that we have. So if we were now to equip this monolith, we get this big beam. What it means is anything inside this beam will always work as long as you are in the same biome. Unfortunately, at this time, no automation will work if you leave the biome, meaning it's not ideal for if you want to continue playing the game and go and explore other biomes. But if you're hanging around your base, if you're building on another side of the map, whatever you may be doing, all your automations can still be running. So we're going to go ahead and we're just going to place this one down. Now everything inside this area will continue to work regardless of where I am within my biome. Now if you're like me, I have a very big base. And originally I spent my entire time trying to make it so all the automations were layered above each other and all coming down to the same point so that as long as I was stood in my base, they were all going. That's incredibly difficult to build. You get things like absorbers messing each other up. I've had things drag things in different directions, even though it's not even in range. It's just incredibly frustrating. So what this means is I can build, for example, my wheat fields in here, and I could have another one on another side of the map with my furnaces going, whatever it may be. And then no matter where I am, whatever I'm doing on my base, they will continue to work. And the height is all the way to the sky. So you could build up inside this area if you really wanted to, but I would actually advise just having loads all around the map and they will all work. So we're gonna head back over to our workbench and we're gonna select the bigger version. So this time we're gonna build the three by three version. And this one, it does take 45 ingots. It's a little bit more, but still very easy to obtain. So we're gonna craft one of those. And we're going to head over to the same sort of area. But this time, you can just see how huge this zone really is. So if we go ahead and place this one down, and again, we can interact with it, you can truly see the size difference. This was our first original one. This little square in here, which is still plenty for a lot of automations. And then we have this giant area here, which is big enough for most bases. You imagine you could have two of these next to each other and it would still work absolutely fine. You yourself can leave the zone. You just have to be within the same biome. So it does actually mean you could build all the way off somewhere leave your automation all the way up there with a monolith on it to keep it running but you are all the way back in your main part of your base which will actually lower the amount of performance needed to run the game too especially for those console players that are struggling to actually play the game this will mean it may not be within your render distance your game is not still running it constantly but it is still working and you can go over there and collect it whenever you're ready. Now this three times three monolith, it is big enough to fit every automation in the game in. But if you really need to, 
put another one and another one you could cover the entire zone that your base is in and every automation will work now i actually wish i knew this sooner purely because i used to have a sky base and my sky base was a bit of a problem because i couldn't use any excavators because that had to be down by the beach so what it would actually mean is i could put one of these monoliths maybe it's the big one or the small one and I could use them all the way up back up to my base and the excavator would mine for me and bring all the stuff up. Now, when I was told about this, I was mind blown because I've played the game for a while now and hadn't even bothered looking at the monolith. Now, once you've built your automation in, you can just come back over to the monolith you can interact with it again and that zone will disappear. If you need to check the parameters again, you can. But if you do interact with it so it's disappeared, that is still working. It's just not in your vision. Now this may not be useful to anybody who has a small base, but eventually you kind of need so many things running. It's hard to fit it all within one space, especially the distance to keep automations going without monolith. So this allows you to build as big as you like put your automations wherever you like and they will continue to run now i hope this guide helped you if it did please do drop a like and subscribe we are on the road to 1000 subs you guys have been crushing it and we are going to hit that very soon at this rate check out some of my other guys for some awesome tips and tricks that even i get to learn from you guys being so amazing in chat but i hope you have an amazing rest of your day stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next video Peace.